Good evening, Pisces. So this is going to be your 2020 forecast. Um, once again, this is um, going to be a 2020 forecast for the zodiac sign of Pisces. Um, and I'm going to be using this Lenormand deck here by Rana George. Um, and I'm going to be using a tarot deck to clarify on that even more. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to do is using be using this dice and this oracle deck to um, get a lot get the last piece of advice that we have for Pisces going into 2020. And um, so let's get started. Started. So what do we have for Pisces going into 2020? What um, information do we have for Pisces? 2020 forecast. What do we have for Pisces going into the year of 2020 Pisces? Alright, so I'm just going to start. So while I'm laying the cards out, um, I'll give you a little tidbit about Lenormand. So it actually originated in France in um, Napoleonic times. Um, and if you want to know more info about it, um, you can Google Lenormand and then, um, you know, whatever your heart desires, figure out some more info. Um, so I'm going to be showing you not every single card because that'll probably take a really long time. Um, but just what are the cards that kind of pop out at me intuitively? Um, I'll be showing you those um, and then obviously clarifying later with the tarot and then with the oracle deck um, afterwards. So, wow. Okay, let's see what we have going on for you, Pisces, in the year of 2020. So I see here that you probably ended um, 2019, or, well, okay, I'm speaking in a weird tense. So you're probably going to end 2019 because it's not the end of 2019 yet. Um, with kind of a new, uh, like a choice that you've maybe been knowing that you've needed to make for a while. Um, well, at the end of 2019, so right now, I think maybe at this moment, you're probably struggling with some kind of choice or knowing maybe subconsciously even that you're going to have to make a choice as represented by these crossroads. And this is going to be um, at the beginning, very, very beginning, burgeoning, moment of 2020 as well you're gonna have to there's you're leading up to this choice this crossroads the very beginning of 2020 um but this is gonna turn out positively like whatever choice you make it looks like you're gonna be in your element here i mean look at this person just looking happy in their element like that's the vibe that i'm getting um you're just in your element um you're gonna feel a tremendous amount of love in the beginning, this could be self-love, love from those around you, um, love or reflected back and forth. And um, in the middle of um, the first quarter of the year, and so once again, this is like January to um, March-ish, um, and you really are going to be very happy, just like basking in the sun sort of energy. Um, but it's not only going to just be that, like surface level happiness, you're going to have some inner... Um, satisfaction when it comes to um just getting in tune with yourself um, emotionally deep down inside here as represented by the moon card um you really are going to be um intuitively like satisfied as well i mean subconsciously satisfied as well and getting in tune with yourself spiritually so that's good and um, or on an intuitive level um, and then here we have towards the middle we have the house card um so we have something going on with your home your hearth your house um, maybe your family um, getting like home, like whatever feels like home to you. This is what this card represents. Um, so that's going to be something, something's going to be going on with that. Um, but okay, so there's going to be some interesting stuff here. Um, I'm getting that. Okay, so this card traditionally, um, in Lenormand represents the other woman or, um, maybe like somebody who's envious of what you have and they covet that whatever they want. Um, but really, this usually represents like the mistress, like if you have a husband or whatever. But we're going to go with a more general meaning. Um, so this might be someone who's deceptive, like a snake, snake-like traits, who wants to take that sort of whatever you, when you think of, um, whatever you think of as home, Pisces, um, they were kind of out to get it. Um, and then following up with that, we have some of this, um, we have mice, which is pretty much a double whammy of Basically, haters are like someone who's haters or like some people who want to steal what you have represented by these mice here. And like you can see that they're ste they're stealing like somebody else's plate of like cookies or something, pastries. Um, what well, they are wanting what you have and they're kind of trying to take it a little bit maybe. Um, or at least they're maybe hating on you or something. Um, and this is going to lead to you, I think, 
either maybe discovering maybe in the beginning you didn't know that these people meant harm or you didn't think they were very toxic people and um, but oftentimes that can happen sometimes where you surround yourself with um, certain people i mean not all of them obviously but pockets of people um who certain individuals who may be a bit toxic or envious but you don't realize it until later but you're going to find out um with this book and you're probably going to end up doing some research on it to like figure out like hey what's going on with this um and then you're going to probably end up cutting them off but this isn't going to be a very difficult situation because um the scythe represents very small transitions like minor adjustments so this isn't going to be anything major um it's just going to be like a small little cut like an adjustment like like okay you're you know toxic by you know it's not going to be a very big deal though so probably not anyone like really close to you but maybe someone like an acquaintance i'm getting um people that maybe you've recently met or just some some people that maybe like for instance we got the home card or a house so this could even literally mean like take on a literally meaning of like maybe you're trying to sell your house and a lot of people know that and they may be like envious of that because they might know it's worth a pretty good amount or um, it's a pretty good deal or whatever they may be envious um, and then you have some people who you might offer to but maybe they have some other intentions like maybe or maybe you should watch out to the people that you are negotiating with when it comes to this um, house um, sale because um, there's some sneakiness going on um, and then you're gonna figure it out and then probably do your research to figure out hey what's going on um, and I think that it's gonna end positively I just get an intuitive vibe that it's gonna be fine um, and then you're gonna have to just like make that little swift little cut like it's gonna be painless I think um, just like yeah nope you're out bye um, and then we have so this like professional person um, in this suit um, very professionally dressed I think this might represent like a masculine figure in your life Pisces, whether it be a brother, partner, um, or just even a male friend who's gonna come and help you um, after that weird moment um, with those haters or those um, mice trying to like steal what you have. Um, this person's gonna swoop in and help you with some kind of legal document. Um, it's, I don't think it's gonna be like a big thing. I, I, I don't think so. But this is gonna be a legally binding document of some kind um, that they're gonna help you with. That's gonna, I think alleviate that situation or put like a seal on the on you know like stamping the what is it the seal of um the what is it um crossing your eyes and dotting your teeth okay yeah that took a while to come up with the analogy but yeah there you go um and then this is going to open up um the gate to some really great lucrative business opportunities um as represented by this market card um, so that person, whoever that is, um, it could even, it might not even be anyone close to you. It could be as simple as like, maybe like a lawyer or maybe even like someone who, like a realtor or something. Like, you know, if you really want to get practical, like someone who's going to, like maybe a friend who's a realtor or just like um, someone in your professional network who's a realtor, friend of a friend that you met at a party maybe. Like, they could give you some advice on this um, legally binding document and this little document here that is going to help you put, um, cross your eyes and dot your T's on that weird situation um with those people um well scoundrels i guess you could say um and then with the key here that's going to open up um really lucrative business so if you were if we were to go to with that really practical meaning of selling that house or whatever um or whatever you um acknowledge in your life is meaning to you um or has the meaning of home to you um in that connotation um that legally binding document is going to open the key to um, a great amount of commerce business um, opportunity growth here as represented by the market or um, bazaar card um and then wow okay so this is good energy so you're going to end 2020 with that um with kind of a bang or kind of a big bang like a really good bang where you enter that um moment of prosperity with the, with the um, business venture business growth um, just growth in general, prosperity, um, and then you're going to ride out into 2021 at the very end of the year in 2020, so December probably, you're going to ride in, you're going to be, so as you can see, this is a rider on horse, this person isn't being shy about whatever they're entering into, this person is ready, and they are, I think, pretty confident, like, confidently riding with, once again, that business growth, and confidently charging, I should say, into 2021, um, so, 
yeah, that's been your reading. Um, so I'm going to use this tarot deck to, um, to maybe clarify some things for you. Like some things that might have been a little, hmm, like what's going on. And so with that choice in the very beginning of the year, I kind of want to clarify that for you. Um, like what is going on with that choice the Pisces has to make um, in the very beginning of 2020? Okay, so this card represents maybe, um, I think this represents maybe like somebody who could be like a karmic energy or maybe like some someone in your life. I think this probably is linked to um, the snake and the mice because this is a lot of like hater, like jealousy energy to, you know, next to each other is kind of, you know, a lot. Um, but I think it's probably related to this where maybe um, there's something going on with these people or person and um, where you have to make a choice to kind of like maybe they've let you down um and you have to make a choice probably a minor choice in like keeping that at bay um so that's probably what that entails and um, but once again you're gonna move to okay i made that choice i feel better because um like you're gonna feel better with this um person if you look at this card um they're in their element they're like i made this great choice and, and you know it's one step up um, it's something that I did proactively um, to a sewage situation that wasn't really working for me. And I do really think that's related to sort of like these hater people or people who are just jealous, maybe even as simple as that. Um, and that's going to move into like um, an influx of love and whether it be um, self-love or love, reciprocated love from those around you um, and reflected back. Um, and then we have the sun card, which is really great. That means you're really going to be like happy, like basking in the sun. So all positive stuff and um, positive outcome. And then you're going to even be like more subconsciously um, in tune with yourself, which I know Pisces um, as a fish or the two fish, like you are already naturally extremely intuitive, whether you like it or not. But then you're really going to like be in your element with that as well um, in, the la in the first quarter, the ending of the first quarter of 2020. So around... March, April, you're really going to be like, okay, I've got this. Like, I'm really um, in tune with myself right now. Okay, something just popped out. I'm going to just read it because... Okay, so Knight of Rods. So I'm going to take this as, okay, the first quarter, um, Knight of Rods. Like, don't quite remember what this means. I'm going to look it up, but... Oh, and it's like right here. So... Knight of Rods, so I'll show you guys. Um, so this is January to April, um, making a choice and then just going into this ultimate love, happiness, um, intuitively being in touch with yourself. Um, so the knight bears the emblem of the dragon, fiery, passionate, and ready to take on the world. This is the sign of the explorer. Also signifies travel, adventure, a change of residence, which is really, really interesting, change of residence. So this is a positive change, obviously, like a fiery full force ahead energy into positivity um, as referenced by the heart, the sun, and then the moon, all very positive signs. Um, and you're going to be heading into this house territory. Um, so like it said, um, changing a new residence um, kind of correlates perfectly with the following card um, going into after April going into um, or after March going to April-ish. And maybe changing residences, trying to sell a house, or whatever you associate with as home. Um, you're doing an upgrade or looking to upgrade or looking to like kind of switch things up a bit. Like maybe it could even be as simple as um, moving, you know, if you work a corporate job, like moving your office um, or something like that. Okay, um, and then I want to clarify about this people, these haters here. The snake and then the, the mice. Like what is going on with that? Okay, so two popped out. Um, so we've got the Four of Pentacles. So I'm getting here and there's probably with the snake. This is someone who, so I'm going to go with like, or pair each one of them. Okay, so the snake, I'm get, guessing this is somebody who's having some financial problems. Like maybe has some like, maybe not financial problems, but they have a problem with being greedy or maybe a little too obsessed with money where they really don't want to let go maybe all they care, care about is money as you can see with this card it's a miser person who's holding on to their money all their limbs you know feet even um they're obsessed with money and material possessions and i think this person this snake entity or people or whoever they are 
are just jealous simply of your material possessions because that's all they value and they see that you got it good in that area and I think they're just really jealous. So um, just keep that in mind. It's not a big deal though because it's gonna work out in the end and you're gonna realize um, who those people are and what to do. And here we have the King of Rods, um, which is a really, really confident person um, who really knows, um, what is it, uh, who's really in tune with themselves, a person of great strength um, who's brave. Um, and I think maybe with this mice, so mice, when it comes to mice, you think um, they represent like, not fear, but like people who are a little insecure and they're not quite as self-actualized or stable um, emotionally or um, just in touch with themselves. And I think maybe they might envy that those qualities about you as represented by the King of Rods. Um, and they're jealous of that and they just, they just envy that about you. So yeah, I mean, the snake, they're envious of maybe your material possessions or whatever you consider to be home to you. That's what they're jealous of. And then with the mice people, they, they're jealous of your person, like your strength, basically. Um, and maybe the fact that, um, they're insecure and you're not, um, but it could be as simple as that. And then we have, you're going to find out who those people are, or at least what to do, do some research on that. Um, cut them out of your life. It's going to be fast and painless. Um, nothing major, like nothing really difficult. Um, and then we have this person who's going to help you out with the contractual agreement or contractual document here. That's going to open up a lot of um, prosperity when it comes to business and commerce. Kind of want to clarify a little bit more about that contractual document um, and see what that means here. Actually, I think this one popped out. Yeah. Okay, we have two that actually popped out. So we have um, Queen of Swords and Knight of Rods. Um, oh, actually we have three cards. Okay, so we have Queen of Swords, King of Swords, and then Knight of Rods. So I'm guessing that this person probably is represented by the Knight of Rods. And then maybe like you and your partner or aspects of yourself because once again pisces you are two fish swimming alongside each other opposite ways and look at these people they're looking in the opposite direction um or towards each other but in the opposite direction um like this kind of like pisces and do spiritually um and i think this represents you or either you and your partner or aspects of yourself pisces this is you um so these are people that are extremely logical um, okay, but let me okay, let me first explain the Knight of Rods because it comes first in the Lenormand reading. So let's see with the Knight of Rods what um Oh yeah, okay, so oh it's appearing again. So yeah, this person is passionate, fiery, ready to take on the world, um, explorer. So this person is looking to upgrade their life. Um, and I think that coming, um, going along with this card, I think maybe this person is somebody who you know, like a, a business acquaintance or a professional acquaintance or even a friend of a friend or maybe someone just close to you in general um, who's going to help you with that contractual agreement um, to expand your business ideas or financial um, opportunities. Um, this person is probably similar to you in that they're a go-getter. Like they're proactive um, and they're helping you because I think they know that helping others is going to benefit them in the future as well. So it's reciprocal. Like they'll help, they can help you. You can help them. Um, it's about working together. And I think they know that. Um, so these people, queen, king of swords. Um, so this is something to keep in mind. This is aspects of your personality, um, or maybe you and your partner. Um, you guys are very logical, rational people, which is kind of interesting because Pisces are usually more emotionally fueled, more intuitive, more feelings based, um, like you feel the subconscious, um, in everyone and everything, um, what lies underneath the surface and that deep water. Um, but with you guys, um, maybe it's just a sign that in this year you're going to benefit from using your brain, uh, I mean, not that you don't use your brain, but I mean, like, your more logical side, rational, um, not as feelings-based, but more just, like, cut and dry, um, logical sort of objective, um, reasoning here, um, in this year, um, and I think you're really gonna probably learn how to hone that skill this year, um, and guess what, it's gonna benefit you when it comes to opening up these business opportunities here as represented by the key opening up new business opportunities and financial prospects um, and then writing that's going to help you ride with confidence 
um, like Pisces, you are very intuitive and um, feelings oriented, emotional um, people, um, but it may help you once again to embrace that um, swords energy here. Um, I mean, because look, they kind of have a similar energy here. You can see like they're both on a horse. Um, they're both extremely confident. Look how they're charging forward. And um, this person has a sword. I think that's their rationality, their logic, um, their reason. You know, they know that that's going to protect them, work out for them. And sometimes when it does come to business, um, that is an extra level of confidence added to, I think, um, your um, identity as a business person is probably being able to make um, decisions um, from a logical, rational perspective. Um, and then you're going to be riding into, once again, um, 2020 with a bang, with a really positive um, business um, prospects and growth in that area. And so I'm just going to move these cards out of the way. Um, and then I'm going to get one last piece of um, information for you from this Oracle deck. Um, so I'm going to be using this dice. All right, so what more do we have for Pisces going into... 2020, what more do we have for Pisces in terms of information? Oh, going into 2020. Okay, so here we have 1111. What do you know? Because, I mean, 1-1, one, one, I think of that as like Pisces running alongside each other in opposite directions, parallel, just like 1-1. Um, one, one. Um, but then again, I see synchronicity in a lot of things. So it might not mean anything. But I would um, keep in mind the number 1111, though, um, going into 2020 because it may actually be really significant um, for you, Pisces. So keep that number in mind, um, 1111. Um, okay, so what more do we have for Pisces going into 1111? What more do we have for Pisces going into... Um, oh, excuse me, not 1111. Why did I say that? Um, 2020. What more do we have for Pisces going into 2020? Um, what more do we have for Pisces going into the year of 2020? Give us one last piece of information for Pisces going into the year of 2020, please. Um, a lot of cards that sell out. Okay. Mm. Wow, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, energy here in this deck for you guys, Pisces. Um, cause this doesn't usually happen as much with other decks, but... I mean, with other readings. Okay, so I'm going to pick the 11th card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So here and now. So I think this is really just um, a reminder to focus on the here and now. Um, like, once again, when it comes to, like, you're going to have a lot of positive energy when it comes to love, happiness, um, getting in touch with yourself intuitively. But when it comes to those haters, I think that was the one hurdle um, or those people who are either jealous of what you have, once again, materially, and then also um, emotionally, like they're jealous of um, your strength, your emotional strength. Um, focus on the here and now. Don't think of them. Focus on what you can do right now to assuage the situation. Um, just remember not to be overwhelmed because, you know, with Pisces, you guys are very emotional, um, feeling-oriented pe feeling people. Um, but don't get overwhelmed by those haters. Just focus on the here and now because, once again, that friend or that partner or whoever it is is going to come in and help you bind that contractual agreement, some form of documentation or agreement to um, help you kind of seal the stamp or what is it, seal the envelope on that whole situation with those haters. And then you're going to get out of that situation um, and then get into a beneficial um, situation um, with business growth, um, new financial opportunities, and then once again, be riding into 2021 um, confidently and make sure that you use your logic and reason and um, objective thinking um, for those business uh, opportunities, and that's going to make aid you into being more confident riding into 2021. So I hope that was intuitive, Pisces, um, for you, intuitive enough for you, because I know you're very, very intuitive. I hope you um, picked up some helpful information here and there. Um, so comment, uh, like, subscribe, share if this resonated with you. Um, and if you have any questions, you can just leave a comment in the comment box below. And um, so I will see you later.